I think when you're young, um, when you're starting, there's certain matches you have to win to have that jump in your career. And knowing that, some players don't sense it very well, and others get it. And um, there was a match I actually lost, but it was a turning point. I lost to Margaret Court. In, depicted in the film, right? Yeah, she's in there. But no, it was, yeah, but that, no, I'm talking about earlier. I'd lost to her in the finals of the Open. But I knew after that match I could beat her. But I'd gone to Australia, I'd quit college, I'd quit university, and devoted, started devoting 24-7 to being number one, because that was always my dream since I was 11. And then when I was 12, I had an epiphany where I wanted to change things. Because, I, you know, everybody in my sport was wearing white socks, white clothes, played with white balls, everybody played with, was white. So at 12, I said, where's everybody else? So I decided I was going to fight for equality the rest of my life, for all of us. So, but plat tennis has a platform. And so people say, are you more proud of what you did on the court or off? Much more off the court, because I really, and I'm going to continue to do this until my last breath, to try to fight for equality and freedom for all. And so, um, but that match I lost, but I knew, but then I did beat her in the spring. But that was like, I knew it. I turned the corner, and I was ticked at myself that I didn't, hadn't done it that moment. But I got my, my plate from Robert F. Kennedy that day, and I'll never forget it. Kennedy, uh, um, the president's brother, uh, attorney general. But that was a great moment for me, just to be able to talk with him and say hello. And I was so shy, but I was just so pleased. I'm trying to find that photo, and I cannot find it because I want it what? for the book. <laughs> cannot you find it. And the U.S. The US Open Kennedy. should have it. But, you know, in those days, we didn't have our little phones. But I would love to have that. I want that trophy. I want that photo because it was a turning point as well. You know it's an incredible life when you've lost a photo of Bobby Kennedy. I didn't get it. I never like got so it. so many other things. No, you mean the U.S. Open lost it. They were taking oh. the photos. You, you, you don't know how it was, Ricky, in those days. It was, I'm sorry. you know, you had one photographer going, everybody look, eh, and that was it. That's why there's so little uh, information, actually, compared to the younger people in life.